elite ball use. He's probably, if not the best, definitely one of the best ball users in the side. Yeah, both sides are back on the ground at, uh, here at Bayswater, and it's just got a little bit more um, crisp uh, and colder. It certainly Ray, is. I'm just getting ready to put the jacket on. Ray, it's definitely uh, coming before, in. Before we kick off, Ray, what did you think of that first half? Well, I, I heard you say, Brash, and I'll agree with you. It was a, a game of, of uh, two halves. You know, the first half, uh, first quarter was all Bayswater. They were all over. They played some fantastic football. Their ball movement was spectacular, and they, they scored uh, six goals, two for the quarter. Uh, Croydon were lucky enough to snare two goals out of absolutely nowhere within the last two minutes or so of the quarter. And uh, But then at quarter time, I don't know what Morris told the Croydon boys, but they certainly worked because they came out and it was complete reversal of it was the same sort of game of reversal of teams uh, the way they moved Croydon were fantastic they got the ball out the center they they were the ones with all the run and not only did they create run but what they were able to do was shut down the run of Bayswater and I just think that was a big part I don't really know what to expect now I, I really don't know at this stage well, well, best day. we're about to find out as Benson gets the first head out of the uh, third quarter going in there and wanting the ball nicely was Bayswater now they'll uh, just move it out towards the wing and the hands I think that's Kelvin in there as it gets a left footer down towards half forward plenty of defenders back there but it has been spilled by Ma going back we're talking about him at uh, half time handball comes out going in there was Clark now it's out of bounds on that half back flank I thought Cunningham could have almost got a free kick there with the Croydon defender coming at him face on but no the umpire said no no <clears throat> so we're going to throw in margin is nine points if you're just joining us early in the third quarter Bayswater and this Seesaw struggle, leaves the ball going in, one by Bayswater, knocked it down, nicely done by Harrington, he roves it well, he's been pretty good in the uh, first half, but the kick isn't such a good one, there's plenty of defenders back there, juggled by Schroeder, now it's in the hands of Bayswater, oh, that's a brilliant tackle, fantastic work by Ficarelli, he's kicked three goals today, now it's Van Ruin, gets a kick inside 50, but cut off nicely by Ma, he's got himself into the game nicely in this uh, third quarter, the kick goes out towards the wing, Chasing it over there is Kempton. He keeps it in. Handball over the top. That's good play. Now Dull. Probably need to see a bit more of him as nice. well. Great handball inside to Milner. Milner the transfer. And it's going to be number four for Ficarelli. No, he's oh, off target. Yes. Off target. Ficarelli with uh, his three goals so far in this game. He's looking for number four. But just off target. But nonetheless, great run again by uh, Croydon. Yeah. It's 8 4 52 base. What a leading Croydon. 7 2 44 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Eight point ball game out here. Short passes on. Mark's been taken by Scott McInerney, who wants to release it pretty quickly. Nicely chopped off there by Christie. Course is spoiled and hit the deck. Goes after it. Second, third effort was fantastic. Here's a go for Croydon. They've got the numbers inside. They go. The shot goes goalward, and that is an absolute pearler. I think that's Britain. We're, we're back for it to a two point ball game out here at Bayswater Oval. It's only ticked over two minutes here in the third term and on the Bendigo back scoreboard, 52 plays, 50. It's yeah. game on out here, Wayne yeah. Brusher. Yeah, really good goal there by, I think it was Riley Britton from the boundary line there. They've been threatening the opening couple of minutes here, Croydon, and uh, one of the things that they've been able to maintain is their tackling pressure, which is one of the hallmarks of always a Croydon football club. Two goals to Britton this afternoon two-point ball game. We knew we came here for a reason, didn't we, Besto? Absolutely. As the ball goes up, it's Benson again. He gets the tap. Interesting that Croydon have started the uh, start of each term really well. They came back well in that second quarter, as they have done here. The nice. kick forward from Van Ruel, and that's beautifully done, and the mark is taken. Cunningham. It's Cunningham, and he gets, gives it off, and Galvin, I think it is, he's got the yep. ball back. So he will go back and line up. Of the Bryce variety. Of the Bryce variety. He was almost going to uh, pass that off where Ray Baird said he can kick it from the middle of the ground. He will. He'll get the distance. There's no worries whatsoever about that. It's just the accuracy, mate. I think Cunningham's got to try and get his hands more on the ball in this second half. I think he's, that was his only his third touch, and he can be a really very tough matchup in the forward line if he gets going. So, Galvin, we've got plenty of brothers in the... Uh, game today. It's a bit like an episode of Find My Family. There he goes. <laughs> Kicks it. It's drifting away to the left. 
mm. and it's gone through for a minor score. Not even really strike that one at all. It looks like it came almost off his instep, and it's through for a minor score. Bayswater 8 5 53 plays 8 2 50 to Croydon on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Surely, surely you don't watch that, mate, or does, <laughs> does Ange make you watch I don't it? think it's even on it anymore. <laughs> As Ma brings the ball back in, he only poked it, but it, every, it went every bit of 50 metres just across the half back line. Umpire's going to come in and bounce this one at footy AFL via Twitter. Keep us up to date all throughout the oh. afternoon right across the Eastern Football League. A little bit of argy-bargy, that's okay. It's a close contest out here. Knock over the top there by Benson. Quick kick in by Bayswater. Goes to the top of the square. Cullinan, it might sit up for Cullinan. Oh, and he's great tackle. Magnificent tackle, just trickles away. White sees it over, but there's a free kick, I think, oh, to Cullinan oh. for a push in the back. I tell you what, that's Tiki Touchwood at its best. Oh, come on. That, that is, is That's absolutely really harsh. Absolutely not a free kick. But anyway, the umpire has made the decision, and Jackie Cullinan, who's already kicked one goal in the second term, well, he's got a very acute angle. He might go, have to go for the check side here. He's been paid it. It's as good a tackle as you would see, so very stiff, the Blues. Cullinan comes in, point-blank range, snaps around the body, puts it straight over the goal on by his head. That's the second goal for him of the afternoon, and Bayswater get the answer on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Five minutes tick over in the third term. They call it the Premiership quarter, and that is exactly... Uh, how we see it, Ray Baird is pointing to Barry Cotts, which means we need to go around the grounds with the score centre. Yes, yeah, so let's check some scores. Baronia 5, 6, 36 at the Basin 4, 7, 31. Uh, Forest Hill and uh, Coldstream. Coldstream, 6 goals straight, 36 to Forest Hill, 5, 1, 31. Murrellbark, 4, 8, 32 to Mulgrave, 2, 5, 17. Baldwin, 7, 3, 45 to Roval, 6, 4, 40. And as well as that, uh, Park Orchard, 7, 6, 48 to Lilydale, 4, 8, 32. Oh, Park Orchard's really making a run for a nine-point ball game, ball back in the middle. So Benson gets the tap. Corden could possibly feel a little bit hard done by there, conceding that goal off a bit of a soft free kick. Nonetheless, it's in the board, and you've just got to get on with it now. So Wiley gives it back inside. Handball, it's been beautifully done there. Well done, Wilkins. Wilkins it is, turns around. Down, goes forward and he's going to hit an unmarked man here oh, they sorry, go on this me. is wilkins this is wilkins now three bws throwing me under the bus <laughs> sorry it was hey <laughs> <laughs> oh riley i'm just gonna now it comes back they'll run it off it's in the hands of galvin joel galvin gets it i tell you what the pressure in here is just relentless handball goes to really nobody bouncing around it's god oh, it's just pressure personified now it's uh it's been Royan. Van Ruin goes down the line, looking for a target. Freeman is there, as is Wilk uh, Dixon. And Dixon takes the mark, does well. A frenetic piece of uh, play, the margin nine points. At Bayswater Road, it's not getting any warmer, I can tell you, as the kick goes inside, and it's been dropped on the ground by, I think it's Clark. And he's been wrapped up, in fact, it's uh, Smith. Just looking at that tree, Ben, over your right shoulder, mate. The wind has sprung up. And so Ray bringing his uh, botanist skills into play there. As the ball goes to Crown, trying to rip out of there was Galvin. He does so, it goes forward. And it's all a bit untidy. Van Ruin, he's actually played pretty well. He gets a beautiful kickoff, and this should be a goal. But no, it's not. Well, it was Miller, Karen Miller. He was in the open. He got under the left boot, but he's pulled it away. And that is a real let off for Croydon. The margin increases by a point. It's uh, nine. I'm just waiting for the scoreboard no, to tick out. Of bounds. Out of bounds, it is. That's it's why. The, that's why the scoreboard's hit, not ticking over. Hit the behind over. point uh, post. Uh, good. Good result. Cunningham got the knockdown. Top of the goal square goes across the face here. Who will be able to keep it alive? Miller tried. He's kicked two goals in the first half. Nice little backward throw to the umpire there, and uh, we'll have a boundary throw in left forward pocket canterbury road end of the ground that's where bayswater's kicking today they lead by nine points they'd like that to be 15 from this stoppage pie throws it in a lot of plays around there here's more got the handball away that was chopped off and now the blues have a run across the half back line up towards the clark direction over the top of him he got the free kick okay, steady. there's no one really forward here so they can if they can get off to the races they can hit up some targets here the kick goes up towards these teammate there in britain who's kicked two goals wilkins was in got the handball away just in the nick of time but the waters have the numbers little chip kick over the oh. top it was ruthless but white was up to the challenge he had jared clark right on his hammer 
and a 25 metre penalty to boot. Great courage there by the young man Benny White for the Bayswater Football Club, who gets up holding a holding his uh, left leg. I, I don't know if he just copped a corky. It probably looks that way. He's a little bit ginger, I and, I, and, Garrett, I, and I don't mean that by the colour of his hair either. I thought Jared Clark was stiff to get it. Yeah, I agree. Penalty. Absolutely he, he agree. He hit him hard, and it wasn't really late. It wasn't late. No, he I agree. He could have taken him right out, but he didn't. Keep an eye on White there because he uh, he's struggling, but he's asking for it again, and this is going to be sensational if he can pluck this, but it doesn't matter because Callanan came out and took the mark almost unopposed. They're good at hitting the targets with the long range of the Bayswater Football Club. Kick goes up towards the Cunningham direction. Nicely chopped off by Dixon. Took the mark and then took off as well. Skew if kick goes out. This is dangerous one. Van Ruin was the first one to meet it. Arch the back. Kicks the ball inside forward 50. He just popped it up. Will it bounce all the way or will it be touched on the line? Oh, Smith was right there. But he was under pressure and Kyle Maher just helped it through. Minor score is the result. 60 plays 50. It's a 10-point ball game out here at Bayswater. The home side leading this one against Croydon. So 10-point game. It's not getting any uh, softer out there. It's getting uh, absolutely frenetic. Both sides going in as hard as they... Wait, what that, was that kick? It was a shocking kick. Went straight over the top into the hands of Kellinen. It was a four-on-one situation, bro. So Kellinen. Yeah. He goes into the pocket and easy mark taken there. That really is soft play. Oh, here's a go. Here's an opportunity to snap off the boots. And oh, it's Cunningham. Yeah. The Bayswater faithful will let you know it's Cunningham who puts it through. It's his second of the day. And Bayswater get out and out to uh, a 16 point lead now. 66 plays, 50 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Go to Barry Cotts around the grounds with the score centre. Yeah, Division 2 scores, Doncaster 3, 31, Upper Friendship Gully 17, Murrelbark 32 to Mulgrave 17, Wonturna South 42 to Mitcham 27, and Division 3, uh, Baronia 36 to the Basin 31, South Belgrave 34 to Warrandyte 19, and Donvale 47 to Friendship Gully 38. Feelings? Yeah, look, Dixon's done some good things, but he had a few brain, brain fades as well. Van Ruin straight out of the middle. They're going forward again. The Bayswater Football Club almost pulling that one through with Smith. Goes after it again. Little handball over the top. Van Ruin barging his way through the pack. Look away handball. This might sit up okay here for O'Reilly. O'Reilly on the right boot. Kicks it towards the four pocket. Was it touched off the boot? It doesn't matter because it will bounce and over the boundary line and out of bounds. Boundary throw in. 20 metres out from the Bayswater goal line, leading by 16 points here. 11 minutes gone in the third term out here on EFL game day. So, I'll tell you who is having a very good game, boys. It's Van Ruin. He's really come into it in this third quarter. He's having a storming game as the ball comes out. Diving on it there was Ficarelli of the Adrian variety. And it'll be a ball up. So, just on Van Ruyen, Ben, he's so strong and he keeps his feet in the contest. That's yeah. a big advantage. It certainly is. He's having a terrific game. There's the uh, tap out one nicely there by Bayswater. There is Van Ruyen, the man we were just talking about, the handball inside, the kick off the uh, boot of Christie. In fact, it's uh, Cunningham, sorry. Now, here's an opportunity. The Benny shot for White. goal from White, but he's pulled it away. You cannot miss opportunities no. like that. That was a relatively straightforward kick, although no kicks are easy, but it's a bad miss, and it goes through for a minor score. So and, he had, and he had time too, correct? He did. He did have time. 10-7-67 plays, 8-2-50 on the Bendigo back score, but a real let off there for the Blues. So the Blues bring it back into play. It's a wobbly old kick down the... goes right over the top. Picked up nicely by Benson. Benson gets a handball away. Gets it as a return ball. The ball goes over the top. Now they've got a bit of a chance here. Here's Hotka. Bailey Hotka. A little short kick. Can he find a target? Just land short. I think that's Freeman over there. Now. Clark. Clark it is. Sorry. Now Clark again. Fumbles. Taken in the tackle. There's no prior there, definitely. Well, they just needed to hit a target then, didn't they? Yeah, no, no, they had a bit of a run, and, and probably Clark needed to probably read that uh, that pass to him. Although he wanted it on the chest, he probably needed it to just slow down his tempo and, and get it on the first bounce. Ball so, comes out towards the wing position. Sorry, Besto, I'm taking charge right here. Actually, it's, it's, it's close to the broadcast. I don't need to see across uh, the ground, uh, so I'll, I'll take the reins, mate. Benson's <laughs> I think Benson's having a tremendous game in the ruck. Certainly I, is. Yeah. Yeah. Bye throws the ball back in now. 
Clark was there at the fall. He's brought to ground by Aaron Ott. I tell you what, he's certainly given his uh, on-ball brigade lots of opportunity to win from the, from the clearance and stoppages. Higher yep. oh, yeah, restarts it now. Big knock over the top there by Benson. Got it away. Across the face of goes. His duel. His kick was smothered. Nicely done there by his, his opponent there in Grubb, who goes after it again. He'll go after it for a third time, Grubb. Third time's the charm. Gets it away. Smith on the right boot. Squeezes the kick in towards the middle of the ground. McCluskey got it away. That's okay. Here is his, uh, McInerney of the Scott Variety. Kicks it out towards the wing position. Picked up by, by Callanan, who keeps the ball alive. That was okay. He might get it back here. Over the boundary line it goes. Right in front of the Croydon. I just think the Croydon are just Change. trying to be a little bit too cute rather than play the percentages. Just going for one of those little dinky things too many. 17 points is the margin out here. 14 minutes tick over in the third term on EFL game day. Bayswater take on Croydon. The home side holds sway. Here's the skipper, Galvin. Got the handball away. Little shit kick out wide. And it was centimetre perfect, wasn't it? Because Kurt Lopo takes the mark. So, he's weighing up his options here. Wants to roost it every bit of 50 metres. And that's a good old kick too. Oh, up to oh, the right. half forward line. And solid mark taken by Billy Dixon, who went back with the flight of the football and only eyes for the pill. On the left boot now, squeezes the kick. Risky business, but okay if it works out. Dool getting himself into the game, wants to switch the play here. Mark's been taken out there by Jamie Hug. On the left now, into the middle of the ground. Good kick. Kyle Ma, been solid today, Ma. Takes off now. Looks to go wide, just poked it up in the air, and it's a Bayswater raffle at this stage, and they let it for the duck who takes the mark on the right boot into the middle of the ground. That's okay. He got it away to his brother in Scott up towards a half forward line. Not the greatest of kicks. Gives Croydon a bit of a chance to rebound here. Nicely done there by Nathan Hark. Got the handball away. The kick goes up towards the Milner direction, straight through his arms. It goes. Dempster was there but he was felled upon, not illegally, but over the boundary line it goes. Barry Cotts has got some scores around the ground. Yes, a very close game in Division 2. It's uh, Mulgrave 4-9-33, leading uh, Muralvark 4-8-32. Oh, goodness me, as Benson gets their head out, nicely done. Carter, now the board's been turned over though, and Bayswater have got it back. Well, they had it just for a second, now it's Dempster. Oh! Screaming of uh, holding the ball, but the umpire says play on Harrington now. He's tackled. That might be holding the ball, I'm pretty sure. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're getting vocal Sh here, aren't they? Sheldon Smith, the crowd, as if they were sort of thinking, I think, that it had to happen eventually. Sheldon Smith playing his first game, gets his handball off to Grubb. Grubb goes inside 50. There's plenty of Croydon players back there, and they managed to defuse the situation. Nicely done by Clark. Handball off to Freeman. Now they go down towards the wing. That's nicely done as well. That's Hag, that's Jamie Hag, of course. Two Hag brothers on the side today. Now it's Thompson. Thompson, beautiful kick. And it's Ficarelli again. He's out wide. I don't know if he'll be able to take a shot from here. In fact, it's Justin Ficarelli. Yeah, I'd be backing him in here. Yeah, I would back him in too. Inside the arc, three goals. He's got to kick it. He's got to kick it to put it. They just really when, need a goal. Just when he took the mark, it looked like he was hard up against the boundary, but he's probably going to have a bit more angle than it looked. So looking for number four. And this will be a massive kick if he can put this through. This will get it back to an 11-point game. Absolutely vital. We've had 16 and a half minutes in this quarter. It's on its way. Goal umpire has He's got moved. it. The goal umpire did not move indeed. He did right, Ray Beard. Straight over the top. So it's another goal for that man, Ficarelli. It's his fourth of the day. And this Croydon side, they just won't go away. 10-7-67. Plays 9-2-56 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. It's Bayswater by 11 points. And you can see why Martin Prizes has done 1,800 games of goal umpiring. He was right underneath that kick from Justin Ficarelli and didn't have to move. Brash, I've just been having a look at the back six for Croydon. They've been under immense pressure this year, but they've really stood up this They uh, have, this especially quarter. the last five weeks, right? Yeah, no, this quarter in particular. 11 points is the margin. It's absolutely game on and has been for quite some time. Clark's in the middle of the ground now, hits the deck. Yeah. Actually, that's not a bad move, I reckon, putting Jared Clark into the midfield just to keep him in the contest. Get your class acts around the football at all times. If, you, if need be, comes out Galvin, just scooped on it, snap around the body, didn't go the required distance. Umpire calls play on it, was knocked away. 
Croydon look to have the numbers. Little handball over the top. Bouncing football. Dempster tried to trap it. Goes after again. Overran it though. He's got McInerney on the right boot. Inside ball. 50. Cunningham out in front. He takes it. He wants to give it off. It's good running right across the face of goal. He was looking for Miller, but it was stolen there by Nathan Hagen. Now the Blues, a chance to rebound across the half back line. Gets it away. He's dual on the right boot up towards the wing position. Nice mark taken there by Jamie Hague up towards the wing. They're still moving it forward. They've got the loose man over the top. Good running there by Kane Dill. Arch the back handball in towards the middle. Nicely done there by Milner. They're two kicks from home. Well, he's Matty Wilkins. He's one kick from home, Matty. He's sensational. Brilliant goal there, Croydon. Coast to coast football. And I tell you what, it is officially game on. If it wasn't already, it's a four point ball game here. We've gone almost 19 minutes here in the third term, almost into time on. And Croydon now with two goals in a row, and they are peppering. Baseball to need a steadier. I just, I just put praise on their back six of Croydon. And what do they do? They turn around and they turn it on again. That all started from the very defensive line down the other end of the game, Brash, and the way they moved that football, like Benny said, game on, there's no doubt about that. Well, I only did further maths, not math method, math, math, maths <laughs> methods, and it's a five-point margin, not a four-point margin. Ball back in the middle, Besto, and the Croydon are off again. Here they go again through Harrington. Ball spilled away, Dahl goes in there, but he's beaten to it nicely by Milner. They really have got some urgency going now, but they've turned it over on this occasion. Joel Galvin gives it to Van Ruin. Van Ruin goes inboard. Freeman probably should have gone for that. He stood back and had a bit of a look as Callanan gets a left footer in towards the goal square. How's it going to bounce? Chasing back. They're under enormous pressure here, but they've done very well. The, oh, that's high tackle for sure. Did the umpire yeah. see that? Yeah, yeah absolutely. He yeah, we copped one high. It was O'Reilly that went, and he probably couldn't have done too much else because the player was going down. But it is a free kick, so Christie in the back pocket. Jake Christie looking around for an option. He goes long, down to almost down the centre wing, and there's a free kick here. Yeah. And which way is it going? It's going to Croydon. So Kempton with the ball. I think it's Kempton, is it? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Kempton. Where does he go? He goes sort of uh, switches. Oh, That's a beautiful, beautiful kick. kick. That is a superb kick, and they'll go inside 50 off the boot of Milner. Milner looking for a target, taking the mark is Ficarelli again. Take he your looked time. If he was going to give it off, surely he'll have a shot. He was trying to do, probably do the unselfish thing. Well, he's got to just go back, Bresh, and take responsibility. I mean, the man can kick the goal, so. Uh, he needs to go back and take uh, it. The wind is going the other way. I I'm, I'm actually think that that's a good option, what he's just done there going to Wilkins. All right, fair enough. He certainly opened up the angle, that's for sure. So. But Brash, their momentum has changed, hasn't it? it Croydon, has. now, Croydon now in the last five minutes are really controlling the game. So Matty Wilkins, he's kicked one today, and this is a vital kick if he puts this through. Kick the last one. Yes. Croydon will be in front. It's hard to believe. It's heading a little bit wide. It's just missed, just away. So Croydon could have been in front, but nonetheless, they are coming like a runaway steam train at the moment. 10 7 67 Bayswater to 10 3 63 on the Benigo back scoreboard. So and now it is four points as the ball comes back <laughs> into play here. O'Reilly over top of him. Here's another go. Wilkins, let's take three. Just kicks it to the hot spot. Who's going to be the big player? Oh! Oh well, you, we, they, we thought they might have gone in front, but Britain just plucks one from the top of the goal square and the big man has already kicked today two goals and he'll go back in, he'll lean over it and he'll put it through a Croydon lead out here at Bayswater over by two points at quarter time. You would not have read about this one and it is a sensational contest we are seeing out here as it is right around the grounds with Barry Cotts on the score centre. Yes, that Mulgrave Mul Mul game. Mulbark 6 11 47 is leading Mulgrave 5 8 38. Obviously, the Barkers have been stung into action. So, I'll tell you what, if you'd been watching the first quarter and you'd gone away for a while and come back to uh, pick this game up, you'd scarcely believe what you are looking at. But Croydon are in front two-point lead they have just absolutely played superbly in the last uh, half an hour or so and they're getting right on top there's the uh, ball up it's Milner that gets the tap down but it's been picked up nicely there by Co uh, Cotty controlled for the moment turning around there is Grubb Grubb gets it back inside the left foot kick towards half forward dropped there on the ground but uh, it was Lynch he did pretty well and he's at least going to force a stoppage potentially is that in the back now the umpire said he has given in the back well, it did look a bit suspect. 
probably one of those 50-50 calls, but it was Lynch that went into the back of Smith, and this will be a massive goal for Bayswater, a steady, which will get them back in front if he can kick this. Cameron Smith, yes. Was it there, Brash, the in yeah, the back? Yeah, I think it was. So you, you can't ride him into the ground, Brett. So Cameron Smith hasn't kicked one today. Let's see if he can put his strikes at OK. But it looks to be good. Yeah, it's through. So Cameron Smith puts it through. That's his first of the day. And it puts Bayswater back in front. Boy, this is a seesaw struggle. You wouldn't put any money on this at all. 11-7-73 plays 11-3-69 in the Bendigo back scoreboard. Right, there's a, one thing that the young uh, Sheldon Smith in the in the ruck, he's getting double teamed by Benson and Milner, and uh, that's going to create a few problems. It certainly is. We go to Barry, uh, coach with scores. What do you got, Baz? Yes, yeah, some Division 4 upstate uh, updates. Uh, Coldstream 36 to Forest Hill 31. Winos Pioneer 63 to Kilside 26. Glamorbing Hawks 37 to Surrey Park 19. So Milner goes up against Galvin in the ruck, knocked down. It's there for Croydon, but it's a little bit untidy. Nicely scooped up there by Carter. Gets it forward. Hocker beats his man. Hocker gets a hand pass off to Ficarelli. Ficarelli's kick into the pocket. There's going to be a free kick, and I think it's going to go against Croydon. Just waiting to get his. It's against Croydon, unfortunately, on that occasion. Oh, unfortunately, if you're a Croydon supporter, of course, we're impartial up here as the kick goes down the line towards half, uh, towards centre wing. That uh, fell into his hands there. It did. That was a strange one. McInerney just uh, stood there and the ball just fell into his hands. So Scott McInerney looking around. Lady sitting in a car over there. Get out of the car. <laughs> get into the get into the spirit. <laughs> She's listening to your podcast, Brett. That's what it is. <laughs> Probably is too. We'll let her off. Of course, streaming live around the globe on EFL.org.au and on 98.1 Radio Eastern as Joel Galvin gets a Bryce at least gets the tap down. Now it's back for crawled in once again it's bouncing around this one it's not really it's galvin in there again but beautifully one i think that was hot that came go. bursting out and here they come again Croydon. they've been really good on the, and that's a beautiful kick and hits up the mark and that really was superb once again transition and he's it's taken the mark boys that's jared jared Clark. Clark. jared, Clark. jared, Clark. jared, Clark. Clark. jared Clark. playing like a team possessed here Croydon at the moment. Just superb, isn't it? Oh, look, they, 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 they've just thrown com complete caution to the wind and they're just riding their luck here and everything that they're doing is coming off because they're working hard for it. So the exuberance of youth is Jared Clark looking for his second of the day. It's on its way. Let's and watch it's the true. game. Doesn't move. The goal umpire absolutely stood dead still and Croydon are back in front. This really is some game. 12-3-75. Blaze 11 7 73 on the Bendigo back scoreboard. We've had nearly 26 minutes in this third quarter. Crash, I want to go back to over there in front of the scoreboard. Just before that forward move by Croydon, yep. there was some very crucial hand passes there. They were going to hand pass it. They held it up just that second and they shot out the second option. And that's when they were able to move the ball forward. Their composure at the moment in those tight clinches, Croydon is absolutely magnificent. And, and Bailey Freeman has been very, very composed off that yep. half back line. Yep. He's, he's the one that's been through spreading those handballs through. Yeah, absolutely. Took the words out of my mouth, Ray. Composure has been the story. Milner went in there and got the knockdown. It's still their hug. <laughs> it's all a bit untidy as they get it out. The ball has been uh, hooked forward off the boot of Christie, but here they come again. Oh, that, that'll be holding the ball, I think. Yep, it will be. So. Bad luck, young Milner. Bit, a, yeah. bit unlucky, Milner. He took the ball and he just didn't realise there was a Bayswood player right on his tail. Here's the short kick down the line. Mark taken there by McGilvray Smith. Haven't called his name too much today. He's had a pretty quiet game. Now he goes forward to right about half forward. Up they go. Oh, oh the sensational mark. I think it's hard. Surely that's a mark umpire. What are you doing as the ball comes out from... Uh, Absolutely robbed, I think. Got it away to Mar there, marching through the middle of the ground. The handball goes out. It was looking for Harrington. It might sit up for him over the top there. Kimpton, can he release the football to Harrington? Almost threw it away. Wilkins, hasn't he come alive in this third term? Kicks towards the forward pocket. Oh. Clark played for the free kick. Umpire said all was fair. Over the boundary line and out of bounds. Two-point lead to the Croydon Football Club. Deep into time on in the third term. They're a bit rattled here, players were at the moment. They're in sixes and sevens. They can't get their, they can't get their back line um, their back line set up properly right no they're, they're, they're dysfunctional down there inside that uh, coin and forward 50. 
So, long time coming before this ball was thrown in. Came out Clark. Little handball over the top. <laughs> what is that? Well, it came it's out. Kip did around the body and Kip then puts it through. The Blues lead by eight points. What a great On the Bendigo goal. back scoreboard, 13-3-81. Bayswater, 11-7-73. Just rode it well, trapped it, sold a bit of candy. That's a class goal by Lee Kimpton. Barry Cott, some more important scores around the eastern suburbs on AFL game day. Division one, three quarter time score. Doncaster, 4 12 36 is trailing South Broad, 9 6 60. Ooh. Brash, I spoke about the, the composure on the back six of Coyne, but that composure then by Lee Kimpton, as Ben said, he sold the dummy, which enabled him to come on his left foot and come to the centre, and uh, a magnificent goal. So this is turning into some game. It's an eight point margin at the moment. Sorry, Brash. I'm agreeing with you, the youthful exuberance of Croydon has really come to the fore in this quarter. So, it's the uh, tap won by Bayswater as they hook a little kick forward to around about half forward. There's a fair bit of chasing going on over there. It's probably going to go out of bounds, and it is. So, we've had uh, nearly 29 minutes in this quarter. Keep them coming, Baz. White Horse Pioneers, 14 14 98 to kill sign, 4 2 26. Game over there. Yeah. So just waiting for the umpire to throw this one back in. This has been some game. It's an eight-point margin. And so the head out one by Bayswater. Once again, it's pretty tight. Galvin did really well. He came out of the O'Reilly now with the ball. O'Reilly gets a kick inside 50. Can he find a target? Great ball coming in over the top. Freeman is there. And he's going to win a free kick. Top one. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, he did. He just got belted there. And he's a bit he's a bit sick and sorry too, Nathan Freeman. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, I hope he I hope he doesn't stay down because he's been the instigator in Ooh. FX6. I think it was a bit accidental. He got a push from behind, and I think he's gone into Cunningham, and not too many people would want to run into the big boy Cunningham. I reckon it's crunched him right in the sternum there. Yeah. And he's gone down like a sack. Yeah, he got a shove from behind. It was probably oh. all a bit accidental. It was accidental. But oh, it was in the contest, there's no doubt. Yeah, yeah there's nothing nothing up towards in that one. Yeah, Smith was the man that uh, gave him the shove, and then he hit Cunningham, and he is uh, out for the count, I think, which will be a real shame because he's played really well. Might take this opportunity to grab some scores. Barry, if you've uh, got some new ones. Uh, yes. Yes, we can uh, do that. Uh, just hang on a moment. Um, uh, Glenn Wively Hawks and... Sorry, Park, Lou Marley Hawks, uh, well ahead there, 61 to 22 uh, on Coldstream and uh, Forest Hill. It's uh, Coldstream leading at the moment, 70, sorry, Forest Hill just snuck in front, so it's uh, Forest Hill 12 to 74 to Coldstream, 11 for 70, so a four point game in that, that one. Um, let's check some, see if we can find some other scores uh, in Division 2. Uh, tell you that uh, it comes up uh, up at Fern Tree Gully and Doncaster East uh, important score there it's all tied up a piece uh, five six thirty six a piece so far late in the third quarter so low scoring game but uh, tied up in that one so uh, and one Turner South and one Turner South and Mitcham it's a lead to one Turner South six six forty two to Mitcham four three twenty seven so you'd ever like to see this but Nathan Freeman is down on the ground and he won't be back today he's uh, very yeah. sick and sorry yeah um, young Bailey that's uh, that's bad luck because he was having a he was having a ripper quarter too Bailey Freeman I think I called him Nathan yeah. I'm thinking of uh, the AFL player. Yeah. Uh, What's good to see that he is talking to the, yes. to the trainer and the and the and the medical staff that are out there with him at the moment as well. What do you got there, Baz? Yeah, I got some more scores for you. Uh, uh, Roval 10 7 67 to Hall and 7 5 47. Oh. Norwood 14 15 99 to Knox 3 3 21. Game over. Montrose 11 6 72 to North Ringwood 3 2 20. Game over. Oof. Blackburn 8 7 55 to East Ringwood 4 4 28. Game over. And Vermont <laughs> last... <laughs> It's like we've got a parrot in the commentary box. Oh, here, oh, let's Game see, over! Let's see Game the over! one to see what he has to <laughs> say. Vermont, 11 4, 72, Noble Park, 8 4, 52. Oh, that's not over. Come no, on, Brush. Oh, uh, <laughs> Go the Bulls! And uh, South Croydon, as I said, 9 6, 60, Port Doncaster, 4 12, 36. Uh, I'm not writing Doncaster off there, renowned last quarter specialist, but gee, against the reigning Premier, it's a tall order. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, Brash, you got that by the crumble blood still running through your veins. Yeah, mate. I can't help <laughs> I can't help myself, can I? No, okay, so Freeman's still getting attended to and the trainer, you can see the trainer just talking to him, making sure that I'm not sure if he's See, I wonder if the time clock is actually equipped 
to show 40 minutes. Well, we're gonna, it's going to be a very long quarter. We've played, uh, we're up to 32 and a half at the moment, but we could be playing another four or five minutes what easily. A, what, a, what an insult to Leroy, Leroy Green, and I know he does <laughs> I know his wife doesn't like Leroy, uh, from LKLM Media. This clock will go for as long as it needs to, Crash. What do you reckon, Bass? never any doubt. You got, you got something else to yeah, tell me? Yeah, we've got some scores. So Brown, you're 7, 7, 49 at the base of 4, 9, 33. Uh, and uh, Donvale in the gully. Uh, Donvale, 4 5 29 to Country Gully, 2 2 14. Gee, maybe we could go for a round the ground report. <laughs> Bailey Freeman has now sat himself up. He, he is on his knees, so I'm not sure if he's being, if he's actually being sick, but the, uh, the medical staff no doubt have him in a position that well, they, they, they need him to be in. Well, they obviously don't want to move him. For There must be a, a reason why the medical staff don't want to move him because. You know, usually they put them on the stretcher and get yeah. them off. No, he, he, yeah, there's no, I don't know if they've got one at the ground, but there's no neck brace or anything, so that's a good sign. Oh, he's up. Good lad. And he's on his feet, So, but he looks very, very unwell. He's a sick and sorry boy. He's such a shame because he's played so well. He has been the man on their half-back yeah. line, particularly in this quarter, but even in the first half, who has really set them up. They're going to miss him. Uh, he's certainly been... Uh, he, he he has no fear, does he? Uh, that, that that that's that, that's that's what you want uh, for a, for a half backman as well, just to be in the contest and and up for the challenge every time the ball comes in your area, Barry. I know you've got some more scores coming through yes, as uh, Bailey makes his way off the ground. A three-quarter time score, Fernshaw Gully nine eight sixty two to Donvale six fourteen fifty. Gee, that was a that was a big three minutes there by Fernshaw Gully there. It was indeed. <laughs> Boys, we, we, boys, we speak they about. They went from. <laughs> boys, we speak about lots of things in the Eastern Football League, but what, what is really pleasing is when a player gets goes down like this and is seriously injured, how both the medical teams from from both clubs yeah. get together and work. Yeah, together. that's yeah. exactly right. That, yes, it's um, it's part of the game that we we really enjoy seeing when the the two teams cooperate and look after each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's getting a getting a. Great applause as he comes off too. He could well be heading to hospital. I think he looks pretty sick and sorry, but great to see him out there. In fact, the siren's gone. So yeah, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, it's so interesting. Came back in, and that seems almost like pretty ridiculous as well that that just happened. So anyway, we wish all the best out there to Bailey Freeman, who's made himself across, off the ground. But at three-quarter time out here, um, that really it was an excitable third term, and and we never like to see uh, a, one of one of the Eastern Football League players go down and get injured like Bailey he just did but it's great to see him pick himself up and go off the ground Croydon what a term they had they lead by eight points on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard 13 3 81 Bayswater 11 7 73 four goals to Justin Ficarilli from the Blues and three goals to Riley Britton while two goals apiece from the Bayswater side to Jackie Callanan Maddie Cunningham and Kieran Miller hope you're enjoying the broadcast 98.1 Radio Eastern and streaming live around the globe EFL.org.au we'll come back with the final term out here on EFL game day it's been a cracker and we can't wait for the last 30 minutes. Decided to go with...